Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great summer. Uh, welcome to the little tutorial videos Mrs. Gonteric and I are putting together for you to help you with practicing over the summer. Every one of you have, uh, has received one of these practice sheets. And you might notice in the, each box you have a different page per week. So the way these videos are gonna go, we're gonna cover one box per week. So for example, the first box has page 28 from book one. And so you'll see that at the top of the board for each video, and you'll also see the topics covered, like slurs and hooks are what's covered on page 28. Um, so how to play slurs first. The book defines it as a curved line placed above or below the note, as you can see here, that connects the notes with the same bow direction. So for example, these two notes we're gonna play on a down bow. And they sound like this. This is what 105 sounds like. So notice that I had down bow and then up bow in the same direction. In measure three, it does not have slurs above or below the notes, so it goes back to normal. slurs again. So you'll find slurs on exercises 105, 106, and 107. And then down in 108 you might notice a new bow, um, bowing there uh, called hooked bows. And if you looked at a hooked bow it looks very much like a slur except it has these two little dots below the nose. Now, if you look at just the dots, they remind us of staccatos. That's what staccatos look like. And staccatos, if you remember, we play separately. Now, you might be wondering, how can you play separate and connected at the same time? Now, remember with slurs, the important part is we're maintaining the same bow direction. So we're gonna play separate notes, but in the same direction. For example, <laughs> notice I'm going down, down, up, up, and putting space in between. Um, and that is how you play hooks. <laughs> 